So my name is Yina Chan. I am 44 years old and I am the lucky recipient uh, of two new lungs and it saved my life. So I was six when they discovered something was wrong with my lungs, but they didn't know quite what it was. But for me as a six-year-old, I didn't realize there was something wrong with me. So I didn't realize that until I got older. When my lungs started to fail really badly, uh, I was in my late 20s and eventually I was trapped in my apartment and in my body. I was imprisoned in my body. I couldn't do the things that um, I used to do. It was, you know, very apparent that I needed help. I needed help breathing. <laughs> my independence, my freedom was, you know, taken away from me in that sense because I couldn't take care of myself. My only chance of living would be a lung transplant and I was so afraid that I refused to even deal with it. And I'm very thankful, you know, that the doctors didn't give up on me. <laughs> yeah. After I got my new lungs, I could walk and I could talk at the same time. And that was just amazing. And I was just talking all the time. Because <laughs> I could talk in whole sentences. It felt really, really good to be able to breathe all the way down into my stomach and enjoy every breath and just feel life flowing through me. Because that's what it felt like. It felt like I was properly alive again. And sometimes I don't think about it, but when I start thinking about it, I'm grateful for every breath that I take. <laughs> I have been to this place many times over the last nine years. Just lighting the candles is a symbol of hope and gratefulness and a lot of thankfulness, enormously. After I light the first candle, I kind of look out through the window and there's just um, a lot of gratefulness and love going that way to my donor or a picture outside the window. And I just picture her seeing that I'm like this cancel um, for, you know, him or her. And just, yeah. Um, it's just become like, I don't know, it's, it's, um, this is where we kind of met, <laughs> this hospital. Um, I came here to get life and my donor lost his or her life here. And so I kind of feel like this is our meeting place. <laughs>